Hey, what's up everybody? It's David here from Tough Guys TV. This is another quick tip video. I'm gonna be showing off this DAP cap product. This thing is super cool if you've never heard of it. It's awesome. It works with all different types of caulking or sealant. And we're gonna be using the liquid nails today with it. So I wanted to take a, a chance here and hope that you guys haven't heard of this. And if you haven't, hopefully you'll learn something from this quick tip video and how awesome these little things are. Links in the description to pick these up. Um, I don't know if I need to link the liquid nails. I'm sure you know what that is. Anyways, let's go. Here's the DAP cap product in its packaging. It's kind of beaten up. I've had this thing for a while. This was kind of like my backup. All right, here it is opened up and you can see it's got kind of two functions. One is that it's a cap for the, the, the tube. You can just put it on there. And number two, it's got this little piece here. You can put your finger and you can you know, get a really nice corner uh, with it. So I'll try to show that off as well. I'll find somewhere I can, I can spread this stuff. Well, not maybe the liquid nail, but if you're using some regular caulking. So for example, if you're using something like this, you know, you're putting it down into the, the crease on the baseboard or on your door trim around a window, you could use this to smooth that out. And again, same idea, it fits on here. Now the whole idea about putting this thing on here, it really just, I was super skeptical. I thought there's no way that this is going to work. So I know that it works already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid nail today. I'll use a little bit of this today so you guys can see how it works. And then I will put this cap back on there and I'll leave it for a while. And then I'll record the rest of this video and just show you that when you take this off, the caulking inside is still good to go or the adhesive or whatever it is that's in the tube you're using is still good. You're just pressing that on there and that's it. So we'll start with this one. All right, we've got a decent bead of caulk going down the wall right there. Not too bad. All right, and we're back with the DAP cap. Here is that tool again. Now, there are applications, I think, where you can use it this way, but with your finger on the back and applying it into the joint, I feel like that more kind of scrapes it off, I guess. I use it to kind of clean a joint. Um, I actually like to do it this way, and I put just a little bit of pressure on the back side of it. And let me see how close up I can get on this to show you guys what I mean. And I apologize for the really bad lighting. But see, there's a little bulb there. So I'm going to put this down into the corner. I'm going to put some pressure, but not too much. And I'm just going to keep that going. And what it does is it collects onto the back here and you can easily wipe that off. And you can tell if you had sheetrock as opposed to paneling like us, you could get that looking really good. You know, and there's a little spot right there. And if you wanted to come back through, you know, with an index finger, then you're not gonna be left with like a ton of caulking left over as you usually would be doing it that way. So I think that that works pretty well. And then as far as cleaning this up, you, know, you just wipe that off into a paper towel and then you're good to go. another view of that looks pretty good and tight and again we've got a bit more caulking on there I did not clean that from the first time so it's not actually much left you know it's it, it doesn't pull much off and then you could use that to fill any other holes you need or spread it further now here on the other side of the door it's a little bit different I've got kind of a edged out piece of trim this is all like a custom-made opening in this old house and I just wanted to show even on something that's not a sharp corner you know this isn't a corner like over here is a corner, you can still use this tool because like here's where I'm not, I have not cleared it yet. And then here's up above where I have cleared it and look how smooth the line actually gets. So again, I'm gonna get this position like I want it, put a little bit of pressure. and it pulls a good amount off, but it looks awesome. Now I did have a couple things I needed to do with the liquid nail as well. And since this is something where I feel like a lot of people may wanna use this, and with caulking, I guess you get the caulking out, you're generally gonna use the whole tube, at least in my experience. I don't actually end up having to save it as often as I do personally this stuff. So 
I had a couple things I needed to glue together, like some plywood stuff for crafts with the kids. And literally, this is now open. Like, I have nothing else to do. This thing is like almost completely full. So, I'm gonna put this on here, and then I'm gonna check back in maybe three or four days, maybe even a week. Um, I've got some a few other videos I need to shoot. And then I'm gonna take this off and show you guys that it's still kept just fine uh, just by putting this on there. So, that's on there. Leave it sitting here in the shop. Check back soon. Hey everybody, just checking back in. It's actually been a little bit longer. It's been almost two weeks because I forgot that I was recording this. So I guess that's good for you guys. Um, I haven't taken it off yet. We're gonna, I'm gonna put it in the caulk gun and we're gonna just squirt some of it out and I'll show you that it still has kept even after this much time. All right, let's take this off. In there. It feels maybe a tiny bit dry, but it'll be just fine. And there we go. So it gets a little bit cool in our shop. And I mean, also super hot in the summer, but this is being shot in the wintertime. And that can also make these a little bit harder to push the material out of them. But like I said, I mean, the only thing I tried to do is just not have excess kind of flowing from there. And then other than that, I just press and get a good seal. And we'll put this back on the shelf and it's gonna stay really, really, you know, good and usable for a long time with this thing on there. I've not, I never pushed the limits, like haven't had these on there for like forever, but uh, I think it's gonna be good. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching this quick tip video, kind of quick, hopefully it was quick, for this DAP cap. These things are super cool. Link in the description to pick one up. They work, they're awesome. Get a few of them, and if you have a few of these things that you keep open or you use regularly, you can stop throwing them away or wrapping them with tape or wrapping them with plastic or whatever other tricks there are out there. This is just so much easier, and I this thing is not very expensive. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next quick tip video or full project. Check us out on social media as well. See you soon.